to to do that? Right. Or am I going to find a reason not to do it? And uh, as I was thinking along that line, I began to observe other people. And as I observed other young people, I I I just I learned a, a multitude of uh, instruction and uh, facts and and uh, a multitude of doors opened to me. Right. So uh, I asked uh, the Lord to help me uh, begin to teach the uh, people, the younger people that were much younger than I was, that neither had information or experience or uh, opportunity, so that uh, I could uh, help create workers that would last uh, for a long time and, uh, and deal with many people. And as I began to think along that line and ask God to open doors, he did exactly what I asked him to do. Hmm. I, I was totally amazed. But God put that on your heart. You didn't, no one spoke that to you, right? No one told you oh, that you no. should do that? No, no, nobody. I, in fact, the matter uh, is that uh, I actually didn't see it uh, played out. I, I really did not see this played out at all. I just more or less felt it in my spirit. Felt it in my spirit. Yeah. Well, you've always been very sensitive to the Holy Spirit. That's I know that for sure. Uh, well, uh, that is true. I, even as a young, right. young as young younger, young much younger person. Right. I was always open to the uh, to the Holy Spirit, and uh, it was um, interesting because uh, in at my home, other people were not uh, uh, not really seeking God. Right. You were by yourself. Right. And yet, uh, the few times that, because uh, I did go to church, and whenever I could, I went to church. And so uh, the times that I went to church, it, it seemed like uh, they were always effective as far as the Holy Spirit was concerned. It just seemed like he and I always met, and I always had the opportunity to say, yes, or no. Right. But uh, living for the Lord isn't anything easy, and I certainly understand why it's extra it's diff very difficult for young people to make a decision that has to do w with their life. It's one thing to say, yes, Lord, I'm going to start going to church. It's a much different thing to say, Lord, here I am. That's right. Absolutely. Send me. Amen. That's right. Well, that's a timely word, Mother. No question about it. It, it just seems like after a while it was easy. You know, it was, uh, it was a decision that uh, didn't go up and down. It wasn't uh, on one week and off the next. It was always there. Once I made a decision to follow the Lord, that was uh, cement. It, it was there. There was no uh, two ways. There were no two ways. Out. I remember even uh, at night, uh, lying on my bed, at night, very late hours, and talking with the Lord. 
Wouldn't you say that's a unique quality of your life, that kind of like Samuel, who heard the Lord's voice at a young age and just continued to do whatever the Lord told him to do, there was a there was an intimacy between him and God that not very many people have. And to me, your life is marked by that. It's true. There's no question about that being a fact. I didn't actually see it in that way at the time. I no, didn't, right. I didn't see it because, right. uh, you know, I had my brothers and sisters at that time, and, and uh, uh, basically you you could say, you know, I, I was from a Christian family, and, uh, and I went to a spiritual church. So uh, it, it wasn't like I was a person that was, uh, that it was so easy to see that God had his hand on my life. I don't think anybody else saw that but me. Mm. But uh, then as time increased and uh, as time went by, uh, the essence of walking with the Lord became much, much more uh, extensive. Mm -hmm. 